Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the Factorio tutorial series. This is Tuplex. Got two things I want to get done in this episode. The first is setting up a small assembly area for electric motors, electric engines, which we will need to build our rocket silo. We're going to need 200 of those. So uh, I'm going to set up a, a small little area to produce those engines. And uh, the other thing I'd like to do is get a line set up for processing units, otherwise known as blue circuits. So we'll work on those two things today. I think we'll have enough time to get them both done. Uh, I've gone ahead and created a bunch of assembly machines so that we have what we need. In the meantime, I also just got done making five more laser turrets. So we have 10 now that'll be useful, useful for clearing out some of these other bases we have to the east of us, which as you can see are pretty large compared to what we did the last time. So I'm going to need to bring some more firepower to that situation. And um, looks like we have a, a small one right here. So I'm going to take care of this one before we do anything else. Get this out of our way. All right, that was easy. So we'll pick up our artifacts and we'll drop those off in the chest over here so they can be converted into science packs. There we go. Okay, so let's set up a engine producing area. I think right here will be good. And what I'm gonna do is set up two rows of four. This is a cool little setup that, actually I'm gonna make this above this conveyor belt. But this is a, a cool setup I, I picked up from Anti Elites. He has a channel called Factorio Speedruns. Uh, if you wanna see how quickly and efficiently you can launch a rocket, go check that out. It is really cool. Um, in fact, he just recently managed to launch a rocket in less than two hours. So uh, pretty neat to watch. And uh, you can learn a lot of cool tricks for your builds. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is set up two chests for each of these. And we'll set this one up to make electric engine units. And as you can see, these are requiring lubricant. This is where that tank of lubricant we filled up earlier is gonna come into play. And this one we're gonna set up to make, whoops, picked the wrong one, the engine units. Okay, the electric engine unit takes circuits and engine units. The engine units take steel, gears, and pipes. And like I said, we're gonna need 200 of those. And since each one takes one engine unit, we need to make 50 engine units. So what I'd like to do is set one of these up for inputs. Actually, I'm gonna need three chests. Okay. So these engine units are gonna output to this chest where they will get... All right, speed module three is done. Let's do productivity module three. I think that's what I need to do. Yep. All right, I'll explain this in a second. Let me just uh, set this up first. And then that goes like that. That goes like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is the first chest here is where we're going to put our supplies uh, for both of these, which would be circuits, steel, gears, and pipes. The engine units are going to output to the center chest where they'll get picked up and go into the electric engine units. And then finally, the electric engine units will output into the third chest. So when this is all done, 
these chests should, the first two chests should be empty and the third one should have electric engine units. And we'll set this up so that each one will produce 50. Okay, so that means we'll need to put in 50 steel plates, 50 iron gears, and 100 pipes into each one of those. So I'll get started on crafting those. I'll just craft them by hand. So let's get uh, 200 gears made. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, that should be 200. Uh, we'll pick up some more pipes. We're gonna need 400 pipes. There we go. And we're gonna need 200 steel plates. Okay, and 200 circuits, which we already have. Okay, so while we're waiting for those gears to craft, we will run a pipe up with our lubricant. I'll just run a flat pipe all the way across okay so this guy needs 50 steel 50 gears and a hundred pipe well oh, I screwed up okay there's a hundred pipe hundred pipe hundred pipe and 100 pipe. Now, 50 gears, 50 gears, 50 gears, 50 gears. 50 steel, 50 steel, 50 steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 50 steel. Okay. And I did that just by control right clicking. Uh, if you do that, you'll insert half. <clears throat> Pardon me, half of a stack. All right, and then that put in 100, 94, 47, 48, so we'll have some extra circuits. Sorry, let me see here. We need a few more circuits here. Crap. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Okay. I'm gonna need to put a few more circuits in these guys. So I'll just do that. All right, we'll have some leftover circuits. But we can see this is working. We're starting to get our electric engine units. And excuse my clumsiness at properly distributing my materials there need to get a little better with my shift clicking. Okay. So that's all running. And in a little while, we'll have our 200 engines. These take a while. It's 20 seconds per cycle. These are 20 seconds per cycle as well. All right. Let's check our power. Power's looking good for the moment. I think we'll need to expand power soon. But for now, we will come over here and set up our blue circuit production. Uh, I'm gonna want 12 assembly machines making blue circuits. And these blue circuits require 20 green circuits each, two red circuits and sulfuric acid. So this one is uh, a little more difficult to set up. I'm going to leave myself a big space here. So let's call that our first input line. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'm putting
putting these all on one column because I want these to output to one side of the belt because on the other side we're going to set up speed modules uh, because that's a convenient way to set things up for rocket parts. One of the rocket parts that we need to launch the rocket requires blue circuits and speed modules together. Um, and one belt is enough to handle both. So that's why we're going to set it up that way. All right, I'm going to rotate these so that sulfuric acid comes up on the left side. I just hit R three times on each one. And then this will be our output. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set I'm going to set this up so that our output gets buffered into a steel chest. There. Okay, and then we're going to need two input conveyors. Um, 20 green circuits is significant, so I'm going to want a full belt of green circuits and then another belt of red circuits. Okay, and then we're going to bring in our sulfuric acid along the side here as well. So I'll set up these pipes. And by doing it this way, we have, we have room on either side of that pipe to put our two inserters. Okay, so I'll put a straight pipe on the end here. And then we'll connect these all together with our underground pipes. some more of those. No, nope, I didn't want to do that. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's go grab some more pipe so that we can run our sulfuric acid supply over there. Grab some more iron off of our belts. Grab some more of those underground pipes. Okay, so here is our sulfuric acid tank. What is the best way to get it over there? We could run across here. I think I'll do that. That way we won't have to bring it all the way down and then back up again. Alright, so we'll just work it through this way. side here there we go uh, let's just follow this back over and make sure it's all hooked up and it is okay now let's feed in our circuits I'm gonna put green circuits as the first and then red
grid circuits are going to come in here. All right, how do we get this up here? Okay, productivity module's done. Let's do efficiency module. All right, it's a little messy, but it works. And uh, I we're probably going to need to upgrade our belt here for green circuits, either to two rows of yellow belts or a row of red belts. We'll see how this runs here. All right, so I'll put a blue inserter here on the bottom. That'll be for our green circuits to go in. a red inserter on the top for the red circuits. Whoops. <laughs> that doesn't go there. Okay, and then um, these are produced fairly slowly, so a simple yellow inserter on the output will be more than sufficient. Okay. So we've got blue circuits producing. And they're all going into this... Pardon me. They're going into this chest here. Uh, and as we can see, our belt of circuits is not nearly fast enough to keep up. And in fact, we've got circuit assemblers that are not even getting placed on the belt. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of those. So one thing we can do is after the first six, two, four, six, what we'll do is branch this line off to the side. Let me grab some more belts. We'll set this up as two rows. So I'm going to bring this one down over here and it'll join our bus right there. Okay. So now we can get everything running at full speed. Uh, I suspect that before too long, our copper line may end up getting emptied before it gets to the end, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we may have to upgrade that too. All right, let's put a splitter here just to balance the output. And we'll work on getting this fed over here to the side. Gonna need some more of those underground belts. See if that helps us. <clears throat> I think we may have to just run this first line up there as a dedicated line. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. 
We'll just let that whole first line be dedicated to our blue circuit production. And I think that ought to be enough to keep this fed. We'll let that run for a little while and then we'll see how it's going. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to put another splitter there. And we'll put another splitter there to keep these things balanced wherever these are getting split off, just like we did with our other bus lines. And let's go and see if we're getting to the end. It'll take a while to stabilize. So we'll let that run for a bit and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Uh, in the meantime, let's go check on our engines and see how we're doing there. See if we got our 200 engines finished yet. Just running along these belts because it's a little bit faster. Okay, they're still going at it. We got 30, 25, 30, and 30. Why only 25? Need more green circuits there. Okay, so we're almost done with that. Okay. If we hold down, if we press Alt, what you can do is you can look to see if you've got animation on top of all your assembly machines. That way you can tell if they're all getting fed enough to keep running. And we can see here that we've almost got enough. These last two are not getting quite enough green circuits to keep running 100%. So let's put another splitter here. Oh, I think I need more iron. And I think what we'll do uh, as well in the next episode is we'll upgrade these lines to red circuits. We'll set up a little red circuit production area. Or I'm sorry, red belts, not red circuits. Red belts, uh, they run twice as fast as the yellow belts, uh, which means that they can move a lot more material. In the meantime, I think this will be pretty much enough to just kind of barely keep it running. But uh, I'd like to have a little bit of a safety cushion there. So we'll do that next time. And uh, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon.